everybody, welcome back to Snook Outdoors. Today we uh, took a little short trip up to Mount Potosi. It's uh, like a 23 mile dirt road from um, Blue Diamond down towards Good Spring. We're gonna jump back in the Jeep here and get this uh, get this party started. And help finding the best coverage for you. And because they live in your community, you can always count on them to be there when you need. So we stopped about a mile, mile and a half in here just to kind of get out of the Jeep, stretch our legs and uh, pull over. Saw a bunch of wildlife on the way in, a couple of burrows, a couple of jackrabbits. Um, saw two snakes in the middle of the trail and um, I'm not quite sure. I left my uh, tablet at home that has the GPX file of this trail on and I've done this a few times. so. I've got some data on it and I've got some things marked. I'm not quite exactly sure how far in this mine is, but um, hopefully we can make it to this mine before the sun sets and we'll uh, jump in there and explore that. But it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. It's uh, about seven o'clock at night. The sun's about to set over the mountains that I'm looking at here and it's uh, absolutely gorgeous so we're gonna get back in the Jeep here and uh, I think we got about three or four more miles before we get to this mine so we'll bring you guys back once we get to the mine about 8 30 at night and uh, we stopped a lot to do a lot of filming I got the drone in the air and we were playing around with that for a while so we're out here we're a couple miles into the trail Edis is uh pulled up a little bit I stopped and jumped out to take some pictures and uh, yeah we're just gonna make our way back up to this mine and I mean, we've got epic sunset. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. And I'm not sure how this is gonna come out on camera. We've got the ISO cranked on this focus. But uh, looking back there in the distance is uh, Pahrump. Well, we're gonna give this a go and we're gonna see how this works hiking down here in the pitch black dark and not trying to fall or anything break a leg trip so It is a big drop. I've been down here before, I know it. So there's an easy way to get down there. And then 
there's a uh, we can kind of come over from the side here or we can kind of go up here more but you're right the camera just like loses it in the dark um, we're gonna go up here a little bit and it's an easier way down and then the mines just on the other side here in the dark where you guys can't see so we're gonna probably put the camera down for a second and try to do this as safe as we possibly can and we'll bring you back when we're uh, on the other side. Old pull tab beer can. I've been down here a few times. There's a bunch of old bunch of there. bunch of trash. Yeah, there's old barrels down here. Bunch of trash. Here's an old cable. Yeah, here's kind of remnants. Looks like water came out of that. I don't know what this tower was here. Um, if it's a chute, if it's just like foundation from, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to try to guess. I, I know absolutely nothing about mining. So I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what that's for. But we're gonna try to make our way over here. Well, by the looks of it, I'd say it's one of two things. One, either this used to have water running through it, or that's like one of the slides where that you're like going through, like you're, the water's pushing the rock through, so it like cleans it and stuff. Yeah, when, uh, it's caved in up here. You, I don't know if you can see on camera, there's a couple, those little two lights that are reflecting, those are the warning, stay out, stay alive signs that we're gonna politely ignore when we get up there. But uh, we'll we'll see. It's ha You can only go back about maybe 100 feet and it's caved in and there's a big giant hole that goes down. I've actually seen a YouTube video. I'll try to find it if I can find it I'll set a link in the description down below, but uh, a couple of guys that are into spurplunking, is that what? Spur. Spurlunking? Spurlunking. So is that what exploring caves is called? I mean, they had gear. They were out here with like hard hats and harnesses, and they put this like device inside here and cranked it against the two side walls of the, of the rock and actually clipped in carabiners and rope and went down into this tunnel shoot something that we're going to see if we can get in here and uh it's pretty crazy if i can find that youtube video i'll put a link down in the, in the description but uh yeah there's a, just a whole bunch of trash and shit down here but uh no idea we're gonna try to make our way up there and like not step on a nail and not twist an ankle Yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna dial down this light. Super overexposed. There we go. You are recording and recording audio. Sweet.
Last time I was here was probably, I don't know, maybe like a year ago I was here. Try not to breathe too heavy. Jesus Christ. What? B bat. Oh. Didn't think about that at night time. Where is it? Huh? Where is it? Up here in the corner. Is he sleeping? Well, until I'm trying to light in his face. This, this goes around here, and this side's caved in to where you can see to outside. There you can see the cave in. And if you're in the daylight, you can see daylight shine through that. But we're gonna turn back around and go back to where, the way we came. And then it just goes down. <laughs> that ladder just keeps going. I've walked across this before. Can't really go anywhere. No, but you can get a good angle of what goes down in there. This timber looks relatively new. This doesn't look super old. Well, the ladder is definitely newer than the other wood that's in there. Yeah, 100 percent. You know, these are cool colors coming out of these rocks. I don't know if this is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna turn turn this light down and see if I can get you guys to see that. So all those blues and greens. And that's the light off. Actually with your red light on there. That's pretty trippy. So, I mean, that just keeps going. <laughs> so, the guys on YouTube I saw, they put some kind of support brace between these two, this, these two walls here, between these two walls, and they lowered themselves down into that tunnel and went down and explored down in there. But uh, like I said, if I find that video, I'll link it down below. But I mean, there's the way out. So I ain't gonna lie, this is creepy as shit in the middle of the night and dark, so we're gonna get the hell out of here before anything dumb happens. by the bird or bat like six times while you were fucking filming last foot. <laughs> Just kept fucking coming around the corner like almost nailing me every time. And now we're back into the dark.
Well, we made it back to the end of the uh, trailhead. We're about to air up. We uh, That mine was almost exactly 11 miles in, and we stopped, checked it out. So we just turned around and came back the way we came. We got to uh, max elevation was just over 6,000 feet on that trip. And we got down to, right now it's about 58 degrees. We left Vegas this afternoon, this evening, and it was like, it was cold today. Not cold, but it was cold for Vegas. It's end of June, we had a cold front come in. Today's high was only about 90 in town. But uh, sitting out here in a t-shirt, and gonna about to air up these tires. It's, uh, it's a little chilly, but that's gonna wrap this up. So that was a little bit of Mount Potosi and the Potosi mine. Uh, maybe next time we come out, we'll try to do the hike to that Carol Lombard plane crash site. So I gotta do a little bit more digging in on that and find out exactly where that hike starts to, uh, to find the debris from that plane crash. But that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks guys for watching another episode of Snook Outdoors.